excited. Aren't you so excited? Like I'm finally back at being a cosplayer. Like I'm a cosplayer again. <laughs> if you don't know who Hatsune Miku is, I'm gonna give you a little, a little lesson on Hatsune Miku. So <clears throat> basically a lot of people don't really know who Hatsune Miku is or what she even is. A lot of people think that she comes from, a lot of people think that she comes from an anime, but she's actually not from an anime. Hasune Miku is a, she's basically a voice bank, almost like Siri, but instead of like answering your questions, she can sing, sing songs. And a lot of people use her voice bank to make songs with. So no, she's not from an anime. She's just a voice bank. She's an AI voice. And she was very popular in the 2010s. And if you guys know me, you guys know that I love anything like that's like 2000s anime. So you can see why I'd, the appeal have an interest in Hatsune Miku like as a franchise, a virtual pop star singer. I remember I was like five years old and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to dress up like Hatsune Miku one day. <laughs> and I did when I was 14. When I was 14, I actually did cosplay as her. Um, obviously, I was like literally a baby. So, you know, it's not... It didn't look as refined as it will now because I'm sure it will look like 10 times better now. Now that I have more knowledge on makeup and like... Okay, so I'm actually gonna do some eyeshadow. I'm gonna do like some blue. I think blue would look really nice. Like I'm gonna use this like shimmery blue color. I'm not... You're just gonna have to see. Finally, always one of my favorite characters growing up and I actually had so many different Vocaloid phases. I used to listen to all of the Vocaloid songs. Some lady cosplaying as her and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I'm doing that now. And it's like, wow, like it just all comes full circle, doesn't it? Like how interesting. It literally, it really does all come full, so full circle because the things that I wanted to do when I was little and like I finally see myself doing exactly what I wanted to do is like very heartwarming. It's like, it all comes full circle. Isn't that so sweet? But yes, let me know if you also liked Hatsune Miku when you were younger or if you still like Hatsune Miku. I feel like she's definitely changed. I specifically like her from like the 2000s version, like the 2000, I think it was like 2009, I think, or 2010. I like that version better because that's the one that I grew up with, obviously. But let me know if you guys like Hatsune Miku. Well, if you clicked on this video, I'm assuming that you know about her or you like have heard about her at least. Okay, so this is the eyes. And I'm thinking this, I'm thinking this is really cute. I'm thinking of doing some sort of like eyeliner or either eyeliner or like lashes cuz lashes are really cute. Um cuz if it's not eyelashes, then it's like then what? You know? So I have these like lashes. I'm going to probably use big ones cuz I like to do like exaggerated makeup and stuff but hmm. but yeah basically i have so yeah basically hatsune miku is just like an ai singer basically before ai was even like the way it is now and she's a really big popular like internet icon especially in the 2000s and a lot of people like her for that reason. She's like, she's like the anime community's Beyonce. So yeah, I that's how I'd put it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use these lashes. These are huge. Oh my gosh, these are like big lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna wear these. Look at this guys. Um, let me get my eyelash glue. I need to buy more like, Hmm. But yes, guys, like, I really hope that what I said was cohesive, but anyways. So please let me know in the comments if you guys also like Hatsune Miku, because I I know I sure loved her when I was younger, and like, I feel like I still like her now. It's more out of a nostalgia, though. Like, so this is actually a Bath & Body Works lip gloss, but I got this, like, sample of red lipstick, and I put it in there because it was clear, but I didn't have a place to put the red lipstick. So yes, guys. 
There was a lot of people saying that they wanted me to make like some sort of like scene kid, like sketchbook spread. And I'm honestly probably gonna do that next. Um, like I received so many comments about that, which is like crazy. It might be too big. Okay. So, Okay, y'all, this is my final look. I reached I did the makeup again because I didn't really like how it looked, but now I love the way it looks. I think it looks so cute. This is my Hatsune Miku cosplay. I think it's super pretty. I don't have her outfit um, because all of the ones that I see are like this weird material. And I only like the, the Miku costumes that I like are the ones that are vinyl. And because it looks like her actual character, you know? But, you know, this is like if, 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 if Hatsune Miku was a Latina baddie, I guess. Okay, y'all. What do you think of my Hatsune Miku cosplay? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I will be posting TikToks and I probably will post about this on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. And then basically I just had a photo shoot, but honestly, I don't really find myself liking Hatsune Miku that much anymore. Like, yeah, I like her aesthetic because it's nostalgic, but honestly, like, I just don't feel it anymore. Like, I'm not really rocking with being a cosplayer anymore. I feel like it's not something that I align with that much anymore. Um, There's not exactly any character in particular or series that I like enough to cosplay from this was more of like a nostalgic thing for funsies but yeah i definitely feel like i align more with crafts and stuff i don't really feel like my heart is at cosplay right now maybe in the future but i'm just not seeing it being a hobby that is coming back when i do things for cosplay it's mostly just for youtube videos or you know just for fun or like just to, to have like a little nostalgia but Generally speaking, I'm not really seeing myself doing cosplay if it isn't for just nostalgic purposes. But yes, y'all, I don't really think I want to do cosplay anymore, honestly. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Like, maybe for fun. Maybe just, maybe just for funsies. But honestly, I'm just, I feel like my creative passions lie more towards art and... Yes, it's, it is nostalgic, very nostalgic to do. And I feel like I stopped listening to Vocaloid when I was like in middle school. So it's just, this was just a nostalgic thing, really. Um, your interests change, you know, and I'm someone who's always changing, so. But all right, y'all, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video of me getting into cosplay for funsies and uh yeah follow my pinterest like comment share and subscribe and stay tuned because i'm gonna make another drawing video very very soon i know this isn't my typical art content but yeah i just wanted to provide you with the little cosplay content since i know a lot of you guys have been asking for a another cosplay video so here it is but yes, everybody, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!